very much. All you Pats fans out there will soon be able to get your hands on the recently approved Patriots license plates. The registration fee for these plates benefit the Patriots Foundation. And here with us this morning is Patriots Hall of Famer Andre Tippett to tell us more about it this morning. Real quick before we get to all of this, I want to show you something. I played middle linebacker at Temple University. <laughs> he was the University of uh, Iowa, became the Hall of Famer. Stand up for a second. <laughs> I see the difference between the two of us. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame, and I'm doing this. My man. He changed the way, in my opinion, the, the game of linebacker was played. Fast, could run like a deer, kill you 240 pounds, and rip your head off. So before it was little guys like me that were just stupid. Now, that said, pleasure to meet you, my friend. Thank you, Vince. Thanks Glad for you're here. Thank Talk you. a little bit about the uh, Patriots Foundation. Um, the Patriot Foundation is basically there to uh, be very uh, philanthropic, mm -hmm. um, reach out to all of the New England area. Um, we are basically following the lead of our ownership. Robert Kraft and his family have been into uh, giving and A guy and in the community wants to give back. For the last three decades. Right. And, right. you know, it's become infectious at the stadium. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's something that we truly believe in. And we see the value behind it. And right. that's the reason why we started up the license plate. Right. And, and it's something that, you know, I mean, literally, I mean, you played for some pretty bad teams. And you know, no offense, okay. you know, they weren't the best. But, you know, you had some good ones, you had well, some bad ones. A couple. But consistently over the last you know, seven, eight years, the Patriots have been fantastic. Three Super Bowls, they've gotten the, the respect that they've got, and the climate has changed. Would you agree with absolutely, that? Absolutely, absolutely. We definitely have, let, have set the bar for how to run the organization, right. how to run your franchise, how to build a football team, how to build a championship right. team. And it's been a lot of fun for me uh, being a retired football player and mm -hmm. still part of the organization that I played for. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very proud of what these young guys have done. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm sure they look up to you, and a ton of respect for you. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, you guys have teamed up with Dunkin' Donuts. You get the first 500 people who uh, sign up a plate, uh, a Dunkin' uh, card gift, right? Absolutely. The first 500 people that sign up for the Rhode Island license plates will get a $10 Dunkin' Donuts card. And, uh, you know, we, we've had a lot of help from a lot of great people here in Rhode Island, and I'd like to just thank Governor Kacheri, right. Senator Goodwin, Senator Bates, right. Representative uh, Pacheco, right. the Rhode Island State Police who actually signed off on the design, which was very helpful, mm -hmm. and the uh, DMV. And without all of these folks helping right. uh, to, 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 to see this through, I don't think uh, it would have ever happened. And about, about half of the money that goes to the registration goes to the foundation, correct? Absolutely. 2150 goes to the Rhode Island State Fund. Right. Twenty comes back to us, right. which we will eventually right. bring back to Rhode Island. Fantastic. Um, I, I want to end. We're running out of time. On a very, very sad note, um, you played with the guy. He was, you know, one of those all-around type players. Mosey Tutupu died way too young, 54 years old. Unbelievable. Um, you know, special teamer guy, running back a little bit, but do whatever you needed to do. Right. Tell me a little bit about it. He's a special guy. He was a guy that not only was a good friend, a good teammate, he was a good person. Mm -hmm. He was doing things that we're talking about now, the community outreach. He was doing this a long time ago before it was really popular. Yeah. Uh, but a good guy, had the right attitude. He was always pleasant to be around. He was, he was, he was just a guy that you would have loved to be around, either on the gridiron or off the gridiron. He was just that kind of person. He was very uh, charismatic uh, uh, personality. And he truly was a Patriot icon. Mm -hmm. And the whole Mosey Mooses was, was huge. Right. And it was because of Mosey and who he was as a person. Yeah, yeah. We, have, we have to go now. I just want to make one you know, last point. His son plays in the NFL. Yes, Lofa Tutupu. Right. Great, great linebacker. I can remember when he was he a old. grasshopper, Absolutely. Right? And now he's out doing his thing, so it's, right. it's awesome. This is my man. It was uh, my pleasure. Thank you. I, I wish you the very best of luck. Uh, one of the greatest players ever, and I mean that with all sincerity. Thank you. And I'm jealous. <laughs> Elizabeth, back to you.